Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Allison and I make cleaning and lifestyle videos. So if you like that type of content, please subscribe down below so you don't miss any new videos. Today I'm doing a product review. I'm going to be reviewing the iLife V5S, which is a robotic vacuum. I have reviewed in the past the V3S, which is a regular vacuuming model. This is actually one that has a mop function on it, so it's a slightly different model. I did purchase this with my own money. I did really love the one I had previously, but it, after about three years it did start slowing down. Um, the little sensors weren't picking up as well. Things just were kind of starting to wear out and break in it, so I thought it was time to upgrade. Because I do have four animals living here right now, so I need a lot of vacuuming going on, and I really want my floors clean, so having a functioning vacuum is really important to me. So I did order this one. I have been using it for about a week. I've been using the vacuuming function because I wanted to have a good idea of how it works compared to the other one. Um, I have not tried the mop function yet, but I'm going to try it out today and tell you how I like it. I kind of think I'll probably won't use the mop function very often because really it is a little container that you put liquid in and then it just squirts out and it wipes it up. So I don't think it's really like something that's going to replace mopping your floors. It might be okay just for a little pick-me-up on a hard floor, but it's not something that's going to totally revolutionize how you clean your floors. It also is something that you have to manually switch over. There's a whole other canister that has to go into the machine to mop, so it's not something where you just hit a button and it switches back and forth. I think there are some high-end robotic vacuums that you can just do that with a button, but this is not one of those models. It's, the mopping function might even be more of a novelty, but I did want to try it out, so we're going to try it out today. I wanted to show you a few of the accessory kind of things that came with it too. It came with quite a bit of stuff compared to I think with the last one that I got. Um, it came with um, extra brushes which are really useful. I actually have ordered several sets of these online with my other one because they wear out pretty quickly and I find I'm constantly wanting to snap them out and put new ones in because the vacuum just works so much better if you have new brushes on it and they get bent and clogged and it's just something that you really want a good brush on these types of vacuum. It also came with two of these little replacement filters which you need to switch out. I think it says every 30 days and they just snap into this little canister that I'll show you and they're pretty easy and you can buy more of these online too. They're pretty inexpensive. Now I'm going to show you the mopping accessories. Um, the main thing, this is actually the thing that you snap into the vacuum that mops. There is a cloth that goes on top of here and there's just pegs that it snaps into the bottom of the vacuum. And it did come with this replacement cloth as well, so you can switch out the cloth and I guess potentially wash the other cloth while this one's being used. But I did like that they gave you an extra one in case this one gets dirty or disgusting, because it probably will. And I have no idea how long these cloths will last, but hopefully they last long enough that I'm not constantly having to order new ones, because I think you can order more of them online as well. And the last thing it came with was this extra canister, and this extra canister is actually for the mopping solution. The regular vacuum has a canister that looks almost identical, except that there's a filter in the front that you empty. This actually has a little valve that you put the water or liquid in. Okay, so you just pull the little top part out, and it just snaps back in, and that's how you fill the water for the vacuum. And it does come with instructions on how to use it. Basically what I understand is you fill this with water, and the vacuum will squirt a little stream out behind it, and then the mopping attachment will just wipe it up. So we're going to try that out here in a little bit, but I do want to show you the vacuum itself and how it works. Um, it comes with a charging stand and an adapter cable, which is just like the other iLife I've had, and I'll show you those as well. Now this is the charging stand and the adapter. They just plug in here on the side, and this plugs into the wall. There's two little sensors for it to charge. It's I think it's pretty identical to the one I had for my other iLife. I think they're all the same standard thing and it will just dock itself automatically against this to charge. It also comes with a little remote, and this is how you operate the vacuum. You cannot operate the vacuum without the remote, so it's really important that you don't lose this or damage it. And it has a lot of different buttons for different settings. Um, it can do like perimeter cleaning or spot cleaning, or you can just let it free clean, which is what I like to do. And it did come with batteries for the remote, so I was happy that it included those as well. I think it takes two triple A's. Yeah, it's two triple A's. It came with little Panasonic batteries for it. And I never, um, I have, after three years, I never used out the, I never used up the batteries in the old remote for my old one. They were still working, so it should be pretty good batteries for you. Now this is the actual vacuum cleaner itself. This nice gold color, which I think is really pretty. The other one was just all white. Um, I did leave the little stickers and stuff on so you can see them. It shows you where there's a power switch over here that turns the vacuum on and off, which basically you're only going to switch this off if you need to 
take the bottom part apart or clean something. Otherwise, I usually leave it on most of the time. To open this part here, you just push down and it should snap open like so. And here is a canister and this you just lift out to clean. There is a little thing in here that just lifts out very easily. And there's a filter down here, which I showed you before, but maybe I'll just close this and snap it out so you can see where the filter is. There's your filter. It's very easy to change. I'm not very technical, so if I can figure this out, I think anybody can. And you can see I have been using it. It's a little bit dirty, so but I did want to show you how that functions. And then the sensor here at the front is sort of how it knows where it's going. It'll bump into things and reroute. Overall, it works pretty similar to the one I had before, which I was pretty happy with. Now, it's not super strong. It's not going to get like really deep cleaning. If you have something that needs really deep cleaned, you should use something stronger than this. But this is great for just a light cleaning of your carpets. And I do have four animals and I've never had issues with it, you know, not picking up pet hair. If there's a huge clump, it might leave it, but generally it gets the pet hair. If you have a large animal, it might be different. My animals are all small. But yeah, it is pretty good. This one, for some reason, it runs a little bit faster than my other iLife. Um, it just moves more quickly. I don't know why, if it's just a fresher battery or if it's just a design that they've improved. It does make noise. Um, it's not super quiet, but it's definitely less noisy than a traditional vacuum would be. It doesn't really bother my animals at all. It just kind of runs and they ignore it. So I think sound-wise, it's a pretty good uh, option if you don't like a real noisy one. Now, I definitely think there are stronger robotic vacuums on the market than this, but this one is really inexpensive. I'll put the price over here compared to a lot of the other models. So if you're looking for one on a budget, this could be a good option for you. And like I said, it does get the job done. It's not perfect. Sometimes I do have to rescue it if it gets stuck places or move it or adjust it. But overall, it makes my life a lot easier, so. And also, I will link this down below too if you're looking to buy it so you can find it more easily. But I'm going to go ahead and just show you a little bit of this and then maybe we'll try out the mopping function. Now when I start it, I like to just hit the middle button and that will just make it go automatically whatever direction it feels like going. So we never really know where it's going to go. So I had filled my little canister with a little bit of water, just the lowest thing. It doesn't say in the instructions if you can use mopping solution or pine salt or whatever in it. So I'm just using plain water for now. I might experiment later with this, but I did fill this little canister with water and I'm gonna go ahead and switch it out and add the mopping attachment. And the mopping attachment, if there's little holes and you just put it right into the little holes here. There's your mopping base. I'm gonna go ahead and switch out the canister here. It does make me a little nervous having water so close to something electrical, but it's designed for this, so hopefully it's okay. Switch these out. Okay, let's try out this mopping guy. <laughs> Okay, so I tried out the mopping function. I'm still letting it run. Um, I did look at the floor. It's squirting a little bit out and then wiping it off, but it's not leaving any real like wetness or residue, which I think is good. I was a little bit worried it might leave the floor a little bit wet, but it seems like it's wiping off everything that it's squirting out. Um, it's not getting really deep cleaning done, which I didn't really expect either way. It's really just like going over the floor with a light dust mop, so it's kind of getting things, but it's not getting the really stuck on stuff at all. It's just kind of a light dusting over the hard floors. Um, if you just needed a quick pick-me-up, this might be a good option. I was actually kind of having fun watching it. You can actually hear it make a little noise every time it squirts out some water. And it goes over it and it wipes it up. I do think the floors will look a little better once it's finished. I do think the floors will look a little bit better once it's finished. And it was entertaining to watch it go and move, which I've always kind of found these just entertaining and fascinating to watch anyways. Um, but I probably am not going to be replacing my manual mop anytime soon for this. There's just something about getting down in there and scrubbing all the detailed places that this is just not going to do for you. But it's a little, it's obviously it's a little easier than I expected. Once you just snap it in and wipe it, it's, it's something, so 
I guess it depends on how picky you are about your floors. If you're someone that wants your floors cleaned every day, this might be a good option because you could get everything mopped. Or if you have a house that's just all hardwood floors and just has a lot of space that needs mopped, this might be a really good option because you could do a large space with water or some sort of cleaning surface every day without a lot of work. So that might be a good option for you. I think my overall review of this, it's probably... I want to say it's probably about a three and a half out of five, which I think is what I rated the other eye life. I might be wrong, but it's it's a good vacuum. It's inexpensive. It does the job. It does have some flaws, such as, you know, it gets stuck a lot. It can be a little bit cumbersome to figure out the remote because there's a lot of settings and it's easy to bump it into the wrong setting. That's something I didn't mention, but sometimes I put it on a setting that I can't get it set off of and I have to turn the whole thing off to reset it. But overall, it's pretty user-friendly. Anybody could figure out how to use this, I think. And I like that they're giving us options for mopping and vacuuming, and it's a lot easier than a manual vacuum, especially if somebody might be have some kind of disability and you just can't get down there and vacuum. This is a great option. Yeah, and I think overall, I'm going to be pretty happy with it. I expect to have it for several years. And like I said, my other eye life wore out after about three years, which I think is a normal lifespan for a vacuum, generally, in my experience. Um, unless you're buying a really high-end vacuum, those last, you know, a lot longer. But for a cheap vacuum, that's a pretty good amount of time for them to last. I really would like to try out some other robotic vacuums on this channel, but they're very expensive, so maybe down the road I'll try some out. But for now, um, I'm pretty happy with my iLife, so I'll probably, you know, continue purchasing them in the future. I've been pretty happy with the brand. I've never had any real serious issues with it. Anyways, I hope this was helpful for you. Let me know if you have a robotic vacuum or if you have an eye light or something else. I'd like to hear about it. And thank you so much for coming by, and I hope you all have a beautiful day today. Bye!